to marathon day. So, I think it's going to be a good day. I hope. Let's see how the kitties are going. Hello. I yes, I know it's probably cold. Hello. I'd love to see you walking around, Maggie. It was really nice that you purred last night. Okay. You're adventurous today. You want to come out? No. Okay, so. I'm just getting their stuff ready first. <laughs> They're actually eating so well now, it seems. Sorry about the view, I guess. Um, you need their kitty bowls, wherever I put them. They need some food first, and then I'll clean up their kitty litter. Hey so it is marathon day out here at the track. I'm a little bit early. The centre doesn't open up until 9 o'clock, which is 6 minutes away. So I've just been sitting here looking at my phone for the past few minutes. Still kind of hoping some people would show up. It would be nice, but I think it's really just the point of marathon training and 100 mile training especially. It's a very lonely um, sport. You're not going to always have someone out there to help you and I think that was certainly realised last night when I went to the Wes and had a good chat with Amy and yeah, first time I got upset in a while because she was asking uh, who do you have that's kind of on your level that can help you with these runs and a whole heap of things and oh god that hit me hard like I don't know. <laughs> Um, Chris Gallivan was the closest I used to have, at least in the local area, but I don't know, maybe I need to put myself out there more for more of these runs, and at the same time, I don't think anyone's training for 105 miles like I am, so at the end of the day, it's a lonely sport, and it takes a lot. I think that's why I've come out to the track today. Yes, I want to go for a fast time, but it's also 105.5 laps of <laughs> the oval, which is a lot. I've done more with the marathon I ran in the court and I'd still like to beat my time today so I had a look at my Strava PB and it said 3 hours 59 minutes and it was either 15 or 16 seconds so I'm going to set up my aid station at the start finish line spot. Go from there really. Anyway I'm just gonna wait till someone rocks up and all the people waiting at the door are moving in. Anyway have a good one. Bye. So here's going to be my home for the next four hours, at least, for warm up and cool down and stretching and then I guess there's a little middle part in there for 105.5 laps. My strategy is to mimic what I, uh, for the 42 PB that I got in my 50k program, so I'm going to try and aim for around 5 minute 42 pace for two hour half um for the first half and then uh whatever i've got in the legs after that is what i get for the second half where i'm not going to restrict myself i will within reason i'm not going to try and do five minute k's unless it feels bloody amazing but yeah let's get to it okay everyone it's time to get this started um, another battle plan that I've got for today is I don't want to have any music for the first 21Ks. We'll see how long that lasts though. Um, I want to try and save it for when I am going to be doing the final push and I'll be focusing and going from there. So there is a little water fountain just there. Here's me a little aid station. It was nice that there was a table out here already. So I've got a gel that I'm going to have every 5Ks. Uh, these are electrolytes and carbs and stuff, all that fun stuff. And body glide just in case I need it at some point. 
and we're off. I've already completed one kilometre at this pace. It's very hard to slow down. <laughs> Everyone knows that when you first start to run, your legs are fresh and they just do what they want to do. So I started off and it was doing a uh, low five minute K. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, no. I'm trying to slow down to the 542s and it doesn't seem to be happening. Oh well, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. I feel like I should be running faster. But it's like you never know what's going to happen in the later stages. Four hours of running, there's a lot that can go wrong. Me running faster could uh, blow my legs out. But also at the moment, it feels like I'm slowing down so much that I'm not getting like a really good form. I think it's all right, but my body just wants to go. And I think you need to learn to reserve that and just stay slow. If you think you're starting off slow enough, you're probably not and you should slow down. And I use that during my 100 kilometer training and especially the 100 kilometer run. I started off so slow at the start for that, that people ended up lapping me. And by the time I got to the end, I was actually catching up. <sighs> that was such a great run. Anyway, I'm limiting myself to one lap of the athletics track per um, recording. <laughs> so we can see my little aid station is popping up. Uh, four kilometers in. So it's nearly time to have a gel. So that looks to be about two minutes a lap. Hi. I feel like that was very efficient. Ran off the track, into the toilets, quick pee, wash hands, come out. Um, yeah, back out here. I um, was about 23 seconds ahead. Uh, when I came, when I went to the toilet, and then by the time I got out, I was like one second ahead for the pace. So, 20 something seconds to go pee and wash hands and come back out. Pretty good. Anyway, got a lot going through my head at the moment. I kind of want to put music on. Oh. Thank you, Mum, by the way, for saying the live tracking is working. Oh. Oh, I hope at some point lots of people send messages to keep me going. Oh. Even if it is a solo run. Oh. Alright, let's go. Bye bye. Now, oh, I'm about. 8k's in I think, or 7. <sighs> Nearly time for my next gel. Maybe I'll get the uh, vanilla one. Oh, go away son. <laughs> There's some dark clouds over there. I wish they were here. Dropping rain down on me. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm about to tick over kilometre 10 and Dad's rocked up. Don't know if he'll stay for the whole time, but we'll see. 
So I've been nearly 10 k's in. Uh, be about three hours from now. Before I finish. So let's just see what the day brings. About every two minutes. True. Yeah. So part of the reason I wanted to leave the music until halfway is that these headphones, even when fully charged, they don't last that long anymore. It's supposed to last six hours, but um they're not so I don't think they're as good quality as the aftershocks the previous makes so it's just about getting to it and then I'm like why don't I just have my phone on speaker and I'm like no nah. I've set my plan and I want to try and stick to my plans get that routine so when I'm doing bigger runs, which is unbelievable to say for a um, uh, marathon run today. <laughs> the more I can get into those routines, the better off I am. You know, it's been good having Dad out here. Where is he now? I was doing the loop on the other side. I'm probably running too fast. I was nearly a minute ahead until I had a gel and some water. Now I'm 26 seconds ahead. I'm pacing this by a sub four hour marathon, so 3.59.59, which puts me at 3.59, oh, 30 something. So yeah, continuing off from where I was before puts me at like five, uh, four, no, three, fifty, nine, thirty. Now my current progress puts me at three, fifty, nine, twenty. So slowly getting closer to that PB. That's within four seconds now and I'm 18 kilometers in. It's getting really warm and it's like I've had dark clouds all around me. And I just want them to come here for a little bit of rain. I hate it when I do that. It was one kilometer until my gel and my electrolytes, not the halfway mark. That slowed my pace down considerably then. Major. 25 k's in, that last k was tough. Definitely too fast in the first couple of k's after that halfway mark. Uh, I was a minute over. I mean, yeah, one minute something ahead, I should say. Right now I'm 54 seconds. Make up 56. So I may just calm it down a bit. Still a long way to go. I've just had one of my emergency uh, gels and electrolyte drinks. My glutes are so so on time. It's hard to keep going. I need to make up 26 seconds now in the last 13, 14 k's. Oh, this is such a slow grind now. Six minutes, nine seconds behind. No way I'm catching up with that. Inside, 
my outside arch on my left foot is so sore. <laughs> I've been resorting to walking this corner of the track and trying to run 300 meters <sighs> just so I can keep moving. This goes to show so much can happen. Smashed out the first half and now look how bad the second half is gone. <sighs> I don't know what I was going to say now. Um, yep, it's gone. Anyway, let's just try and get this done. I've got like six to seven k's to go. It goes to show how much everything can affect your run. But. I need to learn to suffer through these times and to just keep moving no matter what happens. There was something that, um, okay, 36Ks I just hit. So 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Yes, I had to do that. 36Ks. I wish I could just run. It's just so sore. Because I knew if I could just do some six minute Ks non stop, then I knew I would be done in 36 minutes. There's a YouTuber, and they said, well, an ultra runner, and they said in the long runs, like you. 100 k's and 100 miles and further there's so much time you could um, be set back ages but you still have ages to go so anything can happen that being said I'm not going to make up a whole kilometre plus more in the next 6 k's 39.2 Three k's to go. I've had some really good moments in these struggled kilometers, I guess. So, goes to show, just need to keep going. Final 400, come on! Four fourteen. Stopping that. Always enough for the end sprint. Oh yeah, it's not going to show a record thing. I'm done. May not have got the time I wanted, but I finished. I've put myself out there. I guess that just makes you vulnerable. But at least I gave it a good hard crack. 
don't get a 10k PB and a marathon PB in one week. <laughs> oh. Anyway, it's time to cool down and stretch. See you all when I'm recovered a bit. Hello and good evening. So, this is future Matt speaking on behalf of Matt and it's like look at my beard now compared to what it was in the video <laughs> so it shows how long it's been oh this run was a lot harder than it probably looks like so forgive me at the moment um I've found out I've got a broken tooth at the back and it's rubbing up against my cheek and tongue so it's a little bit hard to talk and stuff at the moment but um and swallow saliva <laughs> so uh I had a body scan after this run and it said that I had lost eight kilos of body fluid and that is such a big thing and I think a lot of it is to look at this and it's like I didn't realize how much I was sweating on the day like, Obviously, I always sweat a lot, but it's like having a look at this video and how I was the days after this run was quite treacherous. And I had a massage with Sophie the uh, day after this run. Um, wow, this is four weeks ago. Holy hell. Um, hello, kitty. Uh, yeah. And she was just saying my muscles just weren't good and that, yeah, that lack of water and everything. So I definitely am happy about this run as well because it's like, even before this run, my previous marathon PB, not talking into the 359 that I got during the 50k, but... My fastest from like a long time ago was like 4 hours 23 or something. So this is still 9 minutes quicker roughly than another marathon time. And it's like when you look at that, that is freaking impressive. Like since this video, I've ran like another marathon and I've ran like a another 4.15 or something. So it's like they're three really good times that I've had during both these programs and you need to celebrate those like I've ran 35 marathons in my time now and in the past few training blocks I've ran three or four that are like 10 minutes or nearly 10 minutes quicker some 20 minutes quicker than all my other ones so I think I'm doing pretty damn well and yeah I'm not going to leave any spoilers or anything for what's coming up. I've got a big run this weekend coming up and I'm looking forward to it. So it's going to be exciting. So have a great one, guys. Thank you for watching. And sorry about the wind noise. I've done the best that I can to try and fix it up. But yeah, it just sounds a bit horrible. So anyway, you all have a lovely, fantastic, super duper, magnificent, amazing night. And I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye. And actually, let's just do this. Who's that on top of the table on my Udi? Do you want to say meow? What would you like to say to the camera? Maggie, do you want to say anything to the camera? Anything at all. Okay, or not. Good night, Maggie. I'll probably take that Woody soon, though.